All right, YouTube, I'm back. I pulled up some pictures of my uh, last uh, 3D MRI that I had done. Um, this is my skull. Um, and I just wanted to quickly explain what I have going on. This is the back of your skull down here. And you can see my pointer. Right here is where your spinal cord is. It comes right into your brain, right in that hole. What is wrong with me is um, my brain is actually sliding out of my skull out this hole. Okay, well when it does that right here, it 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 uh, strangulates the brain as it tries to squeeze through this little itty bitty hole, um, which causes all kinds of problems. So let me back up here a little bit. Hopefully you can see this. I'm going in on May 17th for some surgery for brain surgery, and you can see my my pointer. They are going to cut this hole bigger. So it's not strangulating the, the tonsils that hang on the bottom of the brain. Then right through here they're going to put a metal cage. Screw it to my skull so they have something to reattach the muscles to. Then on the top of my skull, up here, they're going to make an incision. And under my skin they're going to remove a piece of... Um, uh, tissue. They're going to take that tissue out, they're going to bring it back down here and inside around your brain you have a sac that's called the dura. And what they're going to do is they're going to cut the dura open and they're going to take that patch that they removed and uh, um, hang on my battery's dying. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had to plug my camera in. So anyway, they're going to take that piece of tissue, cut the dura open, and um, sew that piece of tissue. And it'll be, oh, I don't know, probably two inches by two inches. And the, the reason they're going to do that is because the sac around the brain is too tight. So they're, they're adding size to that sack. Then after that, if you look, uh, let's see, right there, that, the, all this right here is your uh, vertebrae. Well, you can see the vertebrae over here better. See those? They're going, that little piece right there that pokes out, they're cutting that off. They're cutting this off, and then up in here, that's the piece right there that they're cutting off. They're going to cut this one off, and then up here, those little pieces will also be cut off. Alright, then they will uh, um, sew me up or staple me, they use staples for this. They'll staple me up and um, uh, send me on on my way. Of course I'll be in the hospital for a while, but for a few days anyway. Then later I have to go back in and have um, these vertebrae, this one right here where the arrow is in between, this one and the one right here, I have to go in and have those fused because they are uh, they're ruined. So um, that's a basic rundown of uh, the surgery that they're going to uh, be performing um, on me uh, on May seventeenth. Um, the ha having the fusion. Um, I'm trying to see if this one up here, yeah, this one here, you can see where my arrow is. 
right there and right there and right there um, won't be during this surgery it'll be uh, after I heal up from the uh, this brain surgery that I'm going to have um, if this all works I won't have to have any more surgery on my head right now if it doesn't work um, they're going to place a shunt in my head and they'll drill a small hole in my skull to place a tube into the dura sac and that sac will uh, um, have fluid in it that that tube will run all the way down into my abdomen uh, to drain the fluid and the idea of all this is is I've got excessive pressure in my brain and my spinal column um, down here the first picture that we we're looking at and I've got a whole bunch more pictures but these are the ones I could pull up your spinal cord runs right through here well with this being choked off up here the the spinal fluid runs from the bottom of your spinal cord up around through your brain and then back out the the purpose of the spinal fluid besides kind of a cushion on the brain is to uh, clean out uh, the the debris basically that uh, gets up around your brain from the blood and stuff flowing so that fluid cleans it out uh, every time your heart beats that fluid pumps every time so if you've ever had a bad headache where it feels like your head's throbbing well every time your heart beats it's pumping that fluid and the reason you feel that is because of the pressure in your head so um, they will uh, have to put a shunt in to drain that excessive fluid well it should flow freely you know just like a funnel it should flow right through here freely but since my brain is got this pinched off right here the fluid can't travel to and from like it's supposed to so it builds up down here in my spinal cord and that is what has caused the the cernix or the cerniglioma and I'm gonna pull up a couple pictures of that so you can see what that is and I'll be right back with you <clears throat> okay I'm back the uh, if you look here see where it says her herniated that's the the brain of course you can see it's the brain up in there that's the brain that fluid runs into these cavities all around everywhere that light line that you see right there is the skull all right the skull comes around sorry the skull comes around and comes all the way down to here that's that opening that I was showing you right here that's the opening and you can see how the brain right here is poking below the skull it should all be up in there so when it pokes out you can see it's pushing against the spinal cord which in turn doesn't allow the fluid to move up in there see this black along the edges is a fluid and if you look right here it's pinched off now this is not my my picture uh, this is just a picture I've got so the fluid can't flow up and around like it's supposed to so it adds extra pressure down here in the spinal cord and in the brain both uh, causing um, all kinds of problems uh, headaches uh, uh, dizziness pain uh, vertigo um, the list goes on and on and on but it also causes a serenaglioma and I'm gonna pull that picture up so I'll be right back okay I'm back with you again I got another picture up um, this also is not me um, mine are all on discs and I don't have time to load them right now okay if you look here this is uh, the spine um, see right here 
where the arrow is, that's your spinal cord. The black on the outside is the spinal fluid. Now, that's where it's supposed to be. Now, if you look down, you can see black in the spinal cord. That is fluid that has gotten into the spinal cord and is ruining the spinal cord. It's separating it. So when I say it frays like a rope, that's what I'm talking about. It, it separates the spinal cord. That fluid just continually tears it. And, uh, you know, you can only imagine how that feels. But if you look, 